Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a few things I got for Christmas. And before I start this video, I just wanna start by saying that this is obviously in no way to brag or like show out or show off. Um, I just remember growing up and I watched so much YouTube as a kid and these type of videos were like my go-tos this time of year. And I always thought that they were super cool because it gave me kind of inspiration for what to ask for next year or maybe even just to buy for myself. So I'm just going to be showing you guys some of my favorite things that I got this year. Um, and yeah, just to make it fun and also I needed some video inspiration and I was like, bish, it's Christmas. So let's show some Christmas presents. Now, I know it is only the 24th, so today is only Christmas Eve, but I celebrate with my mom on the 23rd and then my dad on the 24th and then I don't really do anything on Christmas Day so that's just how my family does it so pretty much my water bottle's leaking awesome <laughs> pretty much my Christmas is done or the gift giving at least um, I am gonna hang out with family tomorrow which I'm looking forward to I'm gonna make some cinnamon roll waffles I've never done it before and my mom got a waffle maker for Christmas like a cute little mini one and I was like hold up because I used to see all the time people making waffle cinnamon rolls and I was like wow I've never done that I've also never even thought to do that and I'm just so excited so those are my actual Christmas day plans but I'm gonna stop rambling now and get into the video so we're gonna start with something super cozy and it's just all of these socks so um we're big stocking people in my family and i feel like maybe everybody is i don't really know um but we got or i got six pairs of these super cozy socks off of actually no these were from lucky brand um and they just came in a pack of six and it's all different colors since i'm a neutral queen my stepmom and dad got me like all of the neutral colors and you guys i'm telling you these are the coziest socks ever i have not worn them yet but just to like touching them with my hands i can tell they're gonna be amazing and there are some pairs that have really cute like um detailing at the top and then have like a marl is that how you say it i don't even know i'm um, just like a cool detailing and i'm really excited to wear these with like boots and kind of like dress up outfits with them and these pair have stripes so those are super cute and just like super simple, but I was like really excited about them. Honestly, I feel like the older I get, like Christmas obviously is just not about gifts to me anymore. And obviously growing up, I feel like every kid is under the impression, unless they're raised differently, that like Christmas is about, not about receiving gifts, but it's like what we look forward to most. And obviously the older I get, I'm just like... I think it's really nice to receive gifts um i appreciate them but they're definitely not needed or you know like a must so i don't know for me it's just like the little things that i get really excited about so the next thing i want to show you guys is this cute little ring on my pointer finger let's see if it'll focus it's super simple and i actually plan on getting a second one of these so i can kind of double them up and it just look like a little bit more cool um and this is actually from amazon and then i got these really cool little huggies i got two of them i do not have them in right now i had them on last night and they were so so cute so it just looks like this and i got two of them and I plan on wearing these either on like the middle part of my ear like right here But last night I had them styled. I think this is called like your Helix maybe I had both of them right here and it looked so so cute and I'm actually really really into um, The earrings look like a ton of different earrings on the ear So this is just a super easy way to do that without having to go out and get like tons of different piercings Even though I do plan on doing that within the next year because like I said, I'm just so into it and I've always been into it. I've always thought it looked really, really cool. So I really don't think that it's a trend that I will like start to not like. But then again, it's just earrings. So if you did decide you don't like that look anymore, you can literally just take them out and the holes aren't very visible. And like, I feel like they'll close up in a while. Um, but yeah, so I do plan on getting lots more piercings. Next, I'm so excited about this. This is kind of like maybe gross in a way to some people but i've been wanting one of these so badly and i actually just a few days ago almost bought it for myself because in the last vlog i posted i was talking to you guys about how my skin was just not 
good at all and I did say hey like it's life it happens no need to stress about it but obviously I'm really into skincare and so like if it's something that's gonna help it and help it get better I'm all over it so I got one of these microderm glow things microdermabrasion mini and this is that thing that literally like sucks the gunk out of your pores oh, wow I know that probably sounded so disgusting but like I am so excited I've seen so many videos of people using these and they seem to work really really well this was also on Amazon Amazon is this year we my family just like literally sent out our Amazon wish list and I personally thought it was something that was so easy because for me like whenever I have something in my cart on Amazon I fully plan on buying it I just might not buy it right then and there but I like plan on coming back to it and purchasing it so to be able to put it on your wish list and see if somebody else will buy it for you is just super convenient because it's like okay cool I don't have to buy it now and you're actually getting something that like you planned on paying for yourself so I don't know I personally thought that that was like the best idea and we're probably gonna stick with that um, for all the years to come so if you guys don't do that yet and like have a really hard time buying gifts for people I would recommend asking for their Amazon wish list because it just made it super super convenient easy and really quick with the shipping so it was just super helpful but um I had been looking at this one on Amazon for a while and I just hadn't pulled the plug yet because I was like I said I just like put things in my cart and I'm like oh I'll just like come back to that another time but it looks like this so it looks like that and it comes with the charger and all these different type of little heads and to be really honest with you guys I have no idea how this is use like what these things are for um i haven't even read the instructions yet um i will later today because i plan on using it but it comes with like different types of heads which i guess depends on like smaller or bigger areas of the face yeah i would say this one's probably for like the nose and the chin and then this one has a bigger opening so i feel like this would be probably for like the forehead and the cheeks and then this one is really interesting looking i'm gonna take it out of this little package Well, I don't know if I'm capable. <laughs> okay, there we go. This one has like a sandpapery head to it. So I'm really not sure what that's for. But I'm assuming that has something to do with like exfoliation and the process of cleaning out your pores. I really don't know. And then this is what is on. I guess this isn't a head. I guess this is like just the main like center part where those little heads attach to. Let's see. I have literally no idea yeah I should probably read the instructions before I, I try telling you I can't even talk before I try telling you guys how this thing works but moral of the story is it cleans out your pores and I've been wanting one for a really really long time so this one is super clutch because it just comes with like all these different attachments and it also comes with this cute little cleaner I love things that are mini and like wow that is so cute and small so I'm assuming you just clean the little, there we go, wow, ooh, how pleasing, wow, okay, cool, because obviously that gets like dirty and you want to clean it every now and then, because if it's pulling stuff out of your face, it's got to have somewhere to go, so you get the idea, but I'm really excited for this, and I plan on using it a lot, and once I get the hang of it, if you guys want a review or a video on how I use it and how I like it, just be sure to comment that down below. Because I really love talking about skincare stuff. And like I said, I'm just really into skincare. So if you guys want that, I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. All right, moving on to something a little bit different. I got two books this year. And I'm really excited because I do like to read. But reading is something that's hard for me to just do. It's one of those things where it's like you have to put everything aside and just do it. And then once you've done that... You're super into it so I really do enjoy reading I just have to get past the like part of putting my phone away and getting rid of all distractions but two books that I really wanted to read within the new year were how to be yourself and this book is about quieting your inner critic and rising above social anxiety and it is by Ellen Hendrickson so um, I've talked about this over on my Instagram. Once again, if you guys don't follow me there, I can link my Instagram handle on the screen. It's just at Savannah Bell. Um, but I've talked a lot over on my Instagram about how this year I kind of noticed myself getting really 
bad social anxiety and that was something that I was not used to because growing up I was such an extrovert and I was very outgoing and I didn't really get shy that much and even if I was shy it wasn't really about like being nervous about talking it was just like oh I don't really know them so I'm not gonna like talk to them um but I've noticed that the older I've gotten social anxiety is something that it's just kind of like creeping into my life and it is very awkward to me because I've just never dealt with that before and now that I'm 22 it's just so random and happening at such a random time and I do understand that social anxiety is something that a lot of people struggle with so if you're watching this right now and you also struggle with social anxiety I feel you girl like I know how you feel 100% I know for others it can be something that's not that big of a deal like they notice it but they don't really let it take over and then for some people it's like holy shit like I freak out whenever people ask me to hang out and um, I don't want to say that mine's like the worst because I definitely don't think that it is and I don't want to like exaggerate it but it is kind of to the point where you know people will ask me to hang out and it's like I want so badly to go hang out but like deep down to my core, I'm just like, holy crap, I don't know how to socialize. I don't know you guys that well. I'm afraid what if other people are gonna be there that I have no idea who they are and they think I'm weird, I don't know. So, and I know a lot of that comes from like insecurity and stuff like that and just dealing with like trauma. And this year I've also been dealing with that a lot, like really taking care of myself. And I have come a very, very far way, but obviously I have more to cover and social anxiety was just something that I really wanted to dive a little bit deeper into with um, like handling kind of for myself because it's just not something that I constantly want to deal with and think about on a daily basis and unfortunately some days it just is. Um, but yes, I'm really excited to read that book once again. Once I read it, I'll probably talk about it over on Instagram, maybe even on a YouTube video. I'm not really sure. Okay. So that was this book, super excited about it. And the next book that I got was called, or is called, Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her first name. Don't hold me to it though. And this book is about how the courage to be vulnerable transforms the way we live, love, parent, and lead. And I've talked about um, how I have a life coach. Oop, things are moving. How I have a life coach, and this author is somebody that she's talked about quite a few times. And so I've heard a lot about this book, and I haven't read it yet. So I just thought it would be a really good one because I'm all about being vulnerable. But I think sometimes when being vulnerable, we can tend to overshare in situations where we don't need to. Um, and that was something that I also struggled with, but have gotten like under control, which go me, go me. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to learn about like just the power of being vulnerable and just from like a totally new perspective because to me being vulnerable is just like being open but I think it's a lot deeper than that so excited to read this one and just like get into reading in the new year in general and ooh, okay last thing last thing I almost forgot and this is like the thing that I'm most excited about so I'm super into Instagram and kind of like doing a little bit of fashion and like outfit pictures and stuff like that because I'm really into fashion and sometimes it's really hard to like go out in public and like shoot looks um, especially if you are alone or if you just like don't really want to go out in public and take photos and so I was really really wanting one of those like backdrop like not the backdrop but the little what is this thing called hold on please hold so I don't confuse you guys confuse you guys. Okay, it's called a backdrop stand. So I obviously do not have this put together yet. So it's gonna be hard to show you like all these little parts. But essentially it just looks like this. And this little guy holds backdrops and you can just take photos on it. So I already have the tripod and like the little remote to like take photos without needing anybody. Because I really don't want to have to be like, hey, can you take my photo? That's really uncomfortable to me. And sometimes I think people think it's like very just conceited and like vain and it's not coming from that place so I'm just like I just take it out of the question altogether um but yeah so it just comes with like a bunch of different parts and I think I'm gonna like set this up today looks very <laughs> confusing but hopefully it's doable hopefully I can handle it but that was the last thing that I wanted to show you guys that I got my mom got it for me and it's the one that I'm most excited about 
Actually, I was thinking about it today because obviously I'm older now and so like Christmas, like I said, isn't really about like gifts. It's more so about like hanging out with family and just like people that are special to you and listening to Christmas music, having some hot cocoa, you know the vibes. But um, this gift made me kind of feel like a kid again on Christmas because I know it's not really a toy, but it's something that I'm going to like use and like kind of as a hobby. So I don't know, it kind of just like brought me back to my childhood and made me feel like a little kid like really giddy on Christmas morning whenever I got like a really cool toy that I wanted that's just me and I'm so so excited about it obviously once again I will be using that a lot for Instagram so if you guys don't follow me there be sure to do so but I hope you guys enjoyed this video oh my god wait I just forgot I grabbed a Santa hat to wear in this video and I didn't wear it hold on okay at least I can wear it now Anyways, as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a really fun time filming this. It just brought me back to like my childhood once again with like the whole what I got for Christmas because that was my ish. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite gift was and I will see you guys next time. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Please, please, please be grateful for what you have because I know that this year was super, super chaotic, but we truly do have so, so much to be grateful for. And if we can't find anything, at least we're still living. So love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.